Hello friends, it's Anna here. Today I am going to show you the new scrapbook.com uh, 360 degrees craft tower. Um, this is something you can put on your desk and it's a perfect way of storing your uh, crafty supplies that you need to have on hand. And you can purchase uh, either the clear one or the white plastic one. And I chose the uh, clear one. And this is what you get if you purchase the set with four shelves. You can also purchase the set with eight shelves or the four shelves separately. So you will get the base that rotates the upper part uh, two uh, two <laughs> plates that cross together four shelves and a set of those small uh, kind of rubber bands and i will quickly show you how you can assemble it you will uh, you need to start with the rotating base and uh, place one of the bigger plates in the middle of the of it with the opening in the middle on the top and then add the second part uh, crossing them together and trying to fit into the openings in the base and when you do this Rotate the base and secure uh, secure those things that go into the base with the rubber bands, like I'm doing right now. Thanks to that, they will be not uh, you will be not able to remove them uh, while lifting your tower. So this stage is done, and now it's time to uh, put the top part on. Uh, I will also try the height of the shelves first to decide uh, if I need four of them or eight of them because, you know, it looks small when you have it uh, in parts, but when you assemble it, it becomes kind of a big big and very, um, I'm looking for an English word, uh, you can store a lot of things inside. So uh, it's a very, very handy and it's not so easy to fill <laughs> storage solution. So I am starting with shelves before I will add the lid on it. And uh, I am putting the shelf onto the opening on the left and the right. And one of the sides has this kind of element that goes through the clear uh, divider in the middle and you have to secure it with the rubber uh, bands. And I'm doing this with all four shelves. So this is what you will get uh, if you would buy the basic set with four shelves only. But to be honest, it's a waste of time because most of the things are not so big, like uh, the biggest elements I have to store are uh, mist from Heidi Swap. So eight shelves, I would aim this uh, quantity for sure. And now uh, we are adding the upper element uh, to close the shelf. And once again, we are securing everything with those clear uh, bands. It's so easy to uh, apply them and it took me, because you're watching it in the real time, it took me about three minutes to assemble everything. And I have four extra shelves uh, to add here in the middle and I'm going to add them right now. They are exactly the same as the previous ones and you will also get a set of uh, rubbers, uh, rubber bands again. And I'm using this um, Pink Fresh Studio liquid watercolor uh, to check out the height of the shelves that I need to add. And it won't be possible to have all four shelves on the same level. So uh, if you want to... Uh, have similar levels, you have to move one, uh, I would say, level up or down. So you can have two on the same uh, height and the second to uh, one level uh, up or one level down. It's not possible to have them all on the same level because of the openings. We use them on one side and on the second side. Uh, so uh, this is how this craft tower is constructed and I lost the lemon before I <clears throat> I was able, able to secure it with rubber and my shelf is done see if 
uh, eight shelves and the tower filled with them. This is how it looks, uh, still empty. And I will be back in a second to show you how it looks when it's filled with your favorite elements. The great feature, oh, see, you can see the rubber bands here. The great feature is that you can fill it with whatever you want. And see you in a second. Bye. This is how the craft station look like when it's assembled and uh, filled with all the goodies. And I will quickly show you what I've got here. So the big feature of craft station is that it can rotate so you can easily grab everything that's inside, even though it's on the back. So you just rotate and grab whatever you want. And I must tell you, it doesn't look good, uh, big on the on the pictures, but it holds such a big amount of <laughs> crafty supplies that, to be honest, I had to like, kind of think of what else can I put in here that may be handy for me. So you can adjust the height of uh, of the shelf, so you can add big items like a tall one you can add something that is smaller i also have my very handy date stamp with uh, acrylic block and an ink here here are some magical powders and part of my favorite Heidi swap mists and here i have all the nuovo drops nuovo drops i have uh, all the set of pink fresh studio liquid acrylics some handy inks that I use to stamp leaves and flowers, and another set of uh, Heidi Swap Miss. Few of the threads I used the most of most often. Some scrapbook.com um, inks that I also use most often. A uh, set of my favorite uh, Distress Oxide inks. A few of my favorite embossing powders rose gold gold uh, and uh, white and transparent some of the powdered uh, watercolors and the top also holds a lot of elements i have uh, tassels that i used uh, them for um, layouts and mini albums some bigger uh, paper clips i have uh, water brushes here some small scissors that I use for fussy cutting. I have uh, ink blending tools from scrapbook.com. I have some handy date stamps that I used too. Some of the favorite Distress Oxide, uh, Distress Crayons. And the new product, I haven't used it before, is a Jane Davenport Crayons. I have uh, Empty Misters. I have Distress Spray here. So see how many elements the station holds.